The Elgato Prompter is a tool that I believe every content creator needs. We took a look at Prompter in a previous video where I did an unboxing, setup, and first look at the device. And I received some feedback that people would like a tutorial on how to use the Prompter software. So that's what we're doing in today's video. If you didn't know, Prompter uses the Elgato Camera Hub app, which is a great piece of software. So here's the deal. I'll take you through Elgato Prompter's software if you drop a like on this video and subscribe to me. Deal? Deal. First things first, open up Camera Hub and select the Prompter option. Here is where you'll see a bunch of options on the left hand side, so let's go over them. The first section is Display Menu, and you can change the output here as well as the brightness. So obviously, you want to make sure that Prompter is selected as the output, and here you can change the brightness of Prompter to your desire. The next menu is Content, and this is where you can make Prompter be an extra display or monitor, an actual teleprompter like it's designed to be, or use it as a viewfinder for your camera and have your Twitch chat overlaid so you don't have to take your eyes off the camera while reading. I don't stream on Twitch, I stream on TikTok and YouTube, so I won't be showing you the chat overlay feature, but just having this ability alone is such a one-up to Elgato over every other teleprompter out there and the ability to use it as another monitor. The text section is where you'll want to focus on the most, so let's go over it together. Here is where you can add in your scripts. You have the ability to copy and paste in pre-planned scripts or type them up as you go. You can section them into their own paragraphs or chapters or run them as one whole piece, depending on how you want to record your talking to camera pieces. There is a plus button here that allows you to create additional paragraphs and if you want to remove them, simply highlight them and press delete on your keyboard. So once you have your script in, it's time to customize the way Prompter presents your words to you. On the left hand side again is an appearance menu. In this menu, you can change the font of your script as well as the size, which helps me so much with my eyesight issues. You can adjust the horizontal and vertical margins, which in my case helps to shrink the script inwards so it's less obvious to the camera that I'm reading a script. Here's what I mean. I'm reading off prompter with no percentage increase on the horizontal margin. Does it look very obvious that my eyes are reading a script from left to right? I am reading off prompter with an increase in the horizontal margin, which has helped to make my script a little bit smaller in width. Does it still look like I'm reading a script from left to right, or is this much better? There is also a slider to adjust the line spacing in case you want your lines spread out a bit more. You're able to change the color of your text as well as the background that the text sits on. I keep it simple with a black background and white text. Lastly, you can adjust the opacity, which is very helpful if you want a viewfinder and want to see yourself behind the text while you're recording. Then the final menu is the scrolling menu where you can turn on or off auto scroll chapters as well as adjust your scrolling speed, which leads me into the next tip. Use your stream deck to have all of your scrolling and speed controls at your fingertips. I've programmed my stream deck plus to do a few things. The scroll wheels have a play dial that I can press to begin and to pause as well as a dial to scroll through at a fast speed if I need to. Then I have a brightness dial to adjust the brightness of the prompter on the fly as well as the horizontal margin. The eight buttons above have two text size adjustment buttons, two buttons to flick between display mode and text or prompter mode, two buttons to select pre-made scroll speeds, and two buttons to go back chapters or forward chapters. There are so many things you can do with your stream deck and prompter, so make sure you take the time to set it up to your needs because it does become such a time saver. So that's a look at how you use the Elgato prompter with the prompter software. I hope this has given you more of an insight into how the device works because this device has been game changing for me and I have no doubt it will be for you too. Check out Prompter in my partner link and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Be sure to subscribe because I'll see you in the next video.